care of our good work because it's so good to be inside. And it has tremendous memory. Immediately when it comes in the tap, if you take it and immediately drink it, it will work as poison in your system. The air gets affected just by the sounds and the intentions and the emotions. Get some sun on your body every day because sunlight is being grown. is not in that kind of condition. Where if you open your window, breeze will not come. Smoke will come. Smell will come. Dust will come. So, it can be. If you don't have a Shiksha 24 hours, no need to work. Some people it's concentrated in the brain. But otherwise, in every cell in the body, there is air. So, when you say air, it's not just the breath. 6% air is in every cell in the body. Just remove it a little bit from the brain, and it is good. It's good if it's in the lungs, in the heart, and the muscles. They function better if there is oxygen, you know? Will oxygen deprive? Muscles weaken, rigid, because this needs air, otherwise it will not work. So, water is 70%. So maximum care should be taken about the water, because it's 72%. If you are going to an examination, suppose uh, it is like this. Let's say you're going to physics examination. You have water, earth, this, that. But just the water subject is for 72 marks. Naturally, you spend more time reading about water, isn't it? Studying water, isn't it? Air is only 6%. You may not study because you are okay with 94. I love it. I love it. Water you must study because it's 72 percent. You must take enormous care about the water because it's 72 percent. And it has tremendous memory. If I open this water, even without opening it, if I say something to this water, it remembers. There will be a lot of experiments in this direction. So, uh, if you take this water from wherever the water works is and pump it to your house, let's say it went through 50 bends, push, pump, push them with a certain point, which naturally is done. And you are living on 12th floor of the apartment to further force that. Now they are saying if it goes through 50 bends, about 60% of the water has turned poisonous. Immediately when it comes in the tap, if you take it and immediately drink it, it will work as poison in your system. 
you can give it and hold it for some time. It will undo itself again. Because the poisoning is not chemical, it is molecular. Molecular changes are happening. No chemical changes happen. This is why traditionally your grandmother always told you, always you must gather the water, keep it overnight in your house, do not properly clean the vessel with vibhuti and kumkum on it and flower on it. This is all. There is no hope. Only tomorrow morning you drink it. Not as soon as it comes inside your house, you don't drink it because it carries all kinds of memories. In very traditional homes, people every day do puja to the water pot. This, and you never drink the water as soon as it comes. Give it, oh, no. Give it enough time to answer itself. And whatever nonsense it is gathered, so that it is suitable for you when you drink it. Water you must take care of, because it's 72 percent. It's more than just glass, you know, more than passing mark. Next thing is food. It is accepted. Twelve percent. Insubstantial. Simple. So how should we have to use? From whose hands it comes to you? How you eat it? How you approach it? So all the things are important. Then comes your head. Six percent. In that six percent, only one percent or less Use your breath. Rest is happening in so many other ways. And it's important, especially if you have children, at least once a month, take them out somewhere, not to the damn cinema. Again, breathing everybody's nonsense. The air gets affected just by the sounds and the intentions and the emotions, all the rubbish that's happening on the screen. And all the rubbish that's reflecting in human minds of violence, of sex, of greed, of this and that, is affecting that limited air in that hall in a tremendous way. So instead of taking them to the cinema, take them to the river, teach them how to swim, climb a mountain. Where is Mother the Guru? Himalayas is so far away. Even a small village and mountain for your boy. This, even a little rock, just go climb and sit on one of them. Children will enjoy it immensely. They will become fit. You will become fit. And above all, your body and mind will function differently. And above all, you are in touch with the Creator's creation, which is the most important thing. Not your own rubbish that you made. Yes, it's comfortable right now, but it's not everything. So instead of going to the restaurant, instead of going to the cinema, instead of going somewhere else like that, at least once a month. It doesn't cost anything. It huh? doesn't cost anything. You can take your rice and lao pai and go and eat there. Anyway, you have it. You don't have to spend money on this. Even better, if you don't want to spend money even on the bus or car, all of you cycle, just three kilometers, five kilometers outside Hyderabad, sit on one rock, just spend time there, feel the sun. It's very important, you get some sun, air, good water. Come back, you are doing Bhuta Shuddhi in a very natural way. It is not the ultimate type of Bhuta Shuddhi, but you are doing some Bhuta Shuddhi. Before I was saying this one, if you take care of food, water, air is not always in your hands because you're living in a city. But water and food you can take care of. And what kind of fire burns within you? That also you can take care of. Sunlight has not become impure, isn't it? Get some sunlight every day, please. Get some sunlight every day because sunlight is still pure. That's my start.